guys, this is Christina here, and you're watching Panacham Trading YouTube channel. All right. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like, share, comment, hit the like button, button, and you know, share to your friends. I'm just you know sharing is caring, right? So today I'm gonna um, talk about a, a topic about lock scale and linear scale. A lot of people ask me, "Hey, Panda, what 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 scale do you use?" log or linear i'm gonna to be frank i only use linear scale but today i want to talk about a little bit you know log scale because i want to show you guys that uh, the different and the confluence that i'm having right now it's telling me that we're still in the wave tree okay so um let's take a look on the, this chart here this is a bit stamp bit stamp has been in the market for quite some time that is why they have uh, you know really low from the bottom here so anyway um i'm gonna you know uh, i'm gonna ignore all of this okay i'm gonna start the market charting the market right here okay i mean like uh in elite wave perspective as you can see here this could be a wave one right and this is a, this is, could be a wave two and we're in the wave three right so technically if we are retracing for the wave four right the size of the wave four should be let me change this color to black the size of the wave four should be almost equal uh to time and the, the price uh, i mean the, the length of the candle the time taken for the wave four to finish should be equal equivalent to the wave two Okay, so for example, if this is a wave four, right? If I mean, a lot of people worry that it's gonna, you know, dump deeper. Oh no, it's dumping, right? I mean, guys, I mean, if you look at the log scale, you'll be relieved. You will think that no, Bitcoin is not gonna dump that deep, okay? Because this impulse will look like it doesn't look great, okay? In an impulse impulse right I, I want the wave tree to be I mean um, three times the size of the wave one at least or maybe 2.618 at least for a uh, third wave okay that's what I want from the market okay even it's 1.61 it's too too little okay in Bitcoin it's 2.618 so I want a 2.618 at least so which means that said if you pull a fib and you measure it right and I'm sorry use a fib trend if you pull a fib and you can see okay uh, yeah kind of uh, oh yeah you have to make your fib on lock scale if you're trade if you're trading on lock scale okay so if you measure it, as you can see, we only reached 1.75. We haven't reached the 2.618. So in my opinion, if this is an impulse, right, it is, of course, it should tag the 2.618. Therefore, this could be just a correction for another move to the upside to at least 18,000. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> one hundred and eighty-five thousand. Okay, on log scale. All right, that would looks a perfect third wave target. Okay, I'm not gonna. Uh, I I don't think it's gonna be here. So, guys, if you're charting on log scale, make sure your fibs are in log scale. Okay, guys, I'm not kidding. A lot of people mess this up. Okay, you see in a log scale. Okay, just ticket okay so now if you're in a linear scale look at this this is a linear scale right linear scale look absolutely different from log scale so it's up to you guys whether you want to chart it on log scale or linear scale is up to you guys so I mean maybe you guys could comment down below let me know whether you want to trade a market using a log scale or you prefer a linear scale but in my opinion I prefer much much prefer with um, linear scale okay so um in uh log scale as you can see here it's, it's quite pretty clear that you know this the whole thing from the beginning 
right till the 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 first top was the 19k and then we had a huge like bad trend for many years for a year i think for two years three years right that was a wave two and then we had a one two and then we have three right so how do you know that we're still in the third wave because i mean basically like i said the wave four should have you know should have um the time taken for the wave four has to be equivalent to the time taken for the wave two so if this was the wave four i think it should you know in terms of time it should you know spend more time until um december here but i i've charted it until september but if it wants to extend to december here for the wave four sure why not but um, in terms of price, mm, it kind of already broken. But of course, the wave four can come down really low. Okay. But now here's the thing: if you put on a log scale, I mean, guys, take a look. If the market goes forty, uh, thirty k is thirty k below is still okay. For the log scale, it should look good. But if it's going for um. On linear scale, it doesn't look good anymore if it's 30k, right? So which means that said, if I want to compare, right? It could be, I mean, the the lock scale could be gonna be like really small here, right here. Okay, maybe like 40k. The max I could go is. So if you compare the price for the wave four, I mean, if the wave four are too deep. I mean the whole structure could break. I mean, um, I mean this could be the, you know, the the real fourth wave instead of the third of the four, uh, the fourth of the third, right? But if it's in log scale, as you can see, if we, I mean, break too low, right? If we break too low to, you know, um, I mean, I mean it could come down here on the log scale. It's a, 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 somewhere around thirty k, twenty five k. It's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna look hideous uh, actually it's like it's, it's gonna come back down here I mean the linear scale doesn't look good so I just think that I mean um, if for if, if you want to look good on log scale so eventually I want the market to pump at least 200k yep that's what I said in my last video. I really want the market to pump to 200k. So, which means that said, I am expecting that the market for this one, because of the log scale, I've made up a conclusion. I'm saying that the, you know, the fourth wave, okay, we, we're probably going to take this like uh, 100k first, and then the real fourth wave comes in, okay? And then we have a huge correction, and then and then we have you know the huge, um, a real fourth wave correction before going for you know twenty k probably, or maybe we could just you know, uh, finish up with the correction right here on the log scale, right? Finish up the correction here and continue to the two hundred k before coming down back here and like that as well. So. If I want to get this pattern here on the linear scale, it's gonna look like this. The market's gonna look like this, okay? It's gonna get an extended fifth, and then we're gonna get a a correction here, and then to you know 200. <laughs> Guys, I think it's ridiculous anyway, but um, just want to share with you guys what I think about the lock scale, the linear scale. I'm just sharing what I think that the market might be doing. So there is a chance that we really, really going for 200k. I'm not joking, guys. Absolutely not joking. So basically, um, third wave, third wave got really extended, and then. <laughs> Then we have the fifth wave, and that's the finish of the third, and then we have the fifth wave up like that. In case to read eighteen thousand here compared to, you know, on the uh, log scale, okay, comparing it to the linear. So it does make sense if the market wants to pump to eighteen thousand, uh, one hundred eighty k to two hundred k 
for Bitcoin. I mean, in in log scale, it looks kind of makes sense, right? For the third wave to retrace, and also that I could make up some kind of a wave structure on linear scale as well, right? So it could happen. So um, although this here is some kind of looks like a wedge, you know, like the Bitcoin fund manager. <laughs> It went down, right? It went down, but uh, I just think that it's just a correction. So I'm expecting the market's going to pump real fast this time. I mean, it's a 200k, 180k. It's easy peasy, okay? So um, if you guys don't want to miss this out, I just think that trading spot is the safest way to to you know, trade the market market now is at 50k i mean we could go 200k that's four times the price right now i mean what's wrong with having spot you're not missing anything out and you're not gonna get liquidated right so i just think that the market would not go 30k if it does i mean like i said the, the structure will look very ugly like if it comes down, I mean, on log scale it looks okay, but on linear scale it's gonna be ugly, right? So it doesn't make sense. So in that said, I'm still watching out for the 200k. So hopefully we go there as well, and hopefully uh, we moon. All right. So if you guys like my video, guys, please uh, comment down below, like, share, join my chat group. There's a link down below. And if you don't have a Bybit account and you want to trade on leverage. Please try and look on the link down below. There's all the link there. If you guys want to support the channel with Patreon, uh, you can uh, donate some uh, bling bling to me as well. And hopefully you guys like my content about linear and logs. Uh, uh, maybe you guys could comment down below what kind of content next should I make up uh, for the next video as well. Um, I think that's about it. All right, guys. See you guys later. Bye.